Hi, yeah. Uh, how you doing? Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, when I went on the trip back to England, and uh, I stayed in a motel. And the motel chain's called F One. I'm really cheap, and I paid forty three euros for one night. And on the sign outside, it actually said thirty nine euros. So booking.com, you owe me four euros. Um, but they're like super basic. They've had a bit of a refurb. They used to be even cheaper than that. And you just get, um, you get a double bed. You get a television. You get Wi-Fi included in the room. A little table and chairs. And then you've got, away from the room, it's not all en suite, but away from the room you've got um, toilets and showers and everything's immaculate because it's all brand new, it's all been refurbished so for the money it's like super cheap and that's if there's two of you, you just pay the 39 euros you know, just because I was driving on my own so it's really really cheap way of kind of like stopping off on your journey and having a rest but the funny thing was, <clears throat> is that I got into the room and it was like tea time. And then by about, <coughs> excuse me, by about nine o'clock, I heard all this screaming. Not screaming, but kind of like, not screaming, kind of like moaning and groaning and wailing. And, uh, and banging about, and I really thought that someone next door, because it was pretty early in the evening, I thought someone was being knocked about, <laughs> someone was going to be injured, until I heard all this, shall we say, rhythmical bed springs from next door, and I was like, oh, for God's sake, you just want a bit of peace, you can watch a bit of something on your TV, and you can just go to bed. And then after that calmed down, there was a few sessions of it to be fair, I finally gets my head down, I finally gets to sleep. And bearing in mind, I've been driving for a long time. And then in the wee small hours, I hear a noise outside in the corridor. And I decided to just press the record button on my audio thing. And, uh, and this is it. So it's two o'clock in the morning and I can hear someone out in the corridor trying to get into their room. They're really struggling so they must have forgotten the key code. Everyone gets issued with a code to get in so they must have forgotten theirs, I don't know. Or it's a burglar trying to break into a room. No concierge to call. That was the downside of a motel. We don't have any staff on at night. So should I just listen here? Or should I go out? Because it could be a crazy burglar. And I don't want to contact them. So the benefits of staying in a hotel and paying more money are probably, number one, you're going to get a better room um, insulation so you don't hear next door neighbours. Number two, you're going to have a concierge. Really important. If you've got any issues or someone trying to break in a room, you've got someone to call. So that's a, a big issue for the, for the group. And I did make a video, but I deleted it. I don't know why, but I was thinking like, oh, I'll make a little review, seeing as how I'm staying in the F1. And then I deleted it later on, because I just thought, no. So I can't retrieve it. I've looked everywhere, and I can't retrieve it to even show you what it looks like. Because they are, they are quite nice, I have to say. Like, the rooms are pretty basic, but it's nice. But honest to God, it was such a comedy of errors. Oh, it was crazy. And I didn't get a good night's sleep because there was this bloody nutcase that was trying to break into a goddamn room. So, there you go. But in general, you'll find these F1s, if you're travelling a long distance in France, 
which more often than not you will be. Have a look on the website for F1s and you can book them direct and all you do is when you go, they'll give you a code on your booking form, if you book online and then when you get to the place there's like a little machine outside, a push button machine like a little yellow thing and they'll give you a code and you type in your code and you'll pay there and then and then they'll give you um, a key code to enter the door so you can, even if you landed there at midnight one o'clock in the morning and there's nobody there as long as this machine you just put your key code your code in and they'll give you a key code for the door and the key code for the door will also get you into your room so it's something unique to your booking for 24 hours or whatever um, the one I stayed at in Charter was really good actually because I've been there a few times before, I'm right across the road, I know it's not very healthy but there's a McDonald's across the road, there's a KFC across the road, you know, you can go and if you want to go and chat to people, you can chat to people, you're not isolated. Um, and Chartres, if you get the, the chance to go and have a look around Chartres, the actual town is really, really, really pretty, really lovely. So, so there you go, so yeah, F1s. If you need a cheap motel to stay whilst you're driving long distance in France, have a look at F1s. They've been refurbed, but they're still less than 40 euros a night. So it, it's pretty reasonable. I know you can do the Airbnb thing, but you might just want, you know, something that's a long, um, you know, um, a, a motorway way or a, a route national. And um, the route nationals you don't have to pay on. You know, so they're really good dual carriageway roads, like mini motorways, but you don't have to pay on those. Something else to be mindful of. But yeah, check out the F1s. But yeah, what a bloody, yeah, what a shambles mine was. But that was for the people that were there, nothing to do with the actual place itself. It was really good. It's just for the crackpots that were staying there when I was. Anyway, have a good day. I know the sunshine's gone here, it's um, it's, bit, it's a bit grey, I have to say. It's a bit grim today and a bit chilly. The weather's gonna, shifted a little bit and I've heard in the UK that it's the same. Have a good day, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. Lots of love.